development was going on, we ourselves as an African Union, and in particular, the Bureau of the African Union, of which I was a member, chaired by the South African President, Cyril Ramaphosa. We took a decision that we are also not going to sit back and, and wait uh, until such time that a vaccine has been discovered. We will also begin the pro a proactive process of ensuring that this vaccine is also going to be able to be available to people across the continent. And in fact, I am happy to say as a result of that initiative, we are standing here today barely a few weeks after the most developed countries and beginning our own process of vaccination, whereas previously we would probably have had to wait for years and years while the rest of the world was moving ahead. But this time round, because of the proactive nature that we adopted, because of working together as an African continent, we are barely weeks behind the rest of the world. And I think this is the spirit that we in Africa must continue to adopt until we overcome this disease, but even as we face other challenges as we move forward. And I also once again would like to say I'm thanking all those partners who have supported not only Kenya, but the African continent in this particular process. All right, one on this side, and then I finish last one on that side. Uh, mchana jina langu ni Kazo Gunga kutoka Runinga ya Citizen. Pengine mm -hmm. tu kuuliza uh, taifa letu ndio tumeanza kupeana chanjo lakini ukiangalia taifa la Tanzania ambalo ni jirani yetu uh, hawajatilia mkazo sana maswala ya corona. Je, ni vipi ambavyo utahakikishia wa Kenya kwamba watakuwa uh, wamekingwa na chanjo hii licha ya kwamba mataifa mengine jirani hayajatilia mkazo swala la corona na pengine kama kuna maongezi ya kuona kwamba uh, taifa la Tanzania South African Broadcasting ya kwamba tumeungana sisi kama muungano ya mataifa ya Afrika AU kuona vile tutasaidiana pamoja kupambana na huu huu ugonjwa na tutaendelea hivyo na tutaendelea kuhimizia wananchi wetu wa Kenya ya kwamba huu ugonjwa ni hatari na ni ugonjwa ambao unachukua maisha na ombi letu ni ya kwamba wenzetu wote watafuata eh, 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 eh huo muongozo. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kusema juu ya vile mwingine ama mwingine ama mwingine atafanya kila inchi iko na serikali yake na uongozi wake e, watawaambia nyinyi wenyewe mipangilio ile wako naye kuhusu inchi zao. Yangu ile nimetangaza leo ni ile mipangilio tuko naye kuhusu inchi yetu ya Kenya na hiyo nimewaeleza na kusema ya kwamba tuko tiari kuendelea kufanya kazi na wenzetu wa Afrika na wenzetu wa dunia kuhakikisha ya kwamba sisi zote tumejipuka na tumejikinga na tumejilinda na tumeondoa huu ugonjwa kati yetu last one President, uh, my name is Yunis Omolo from NTV. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. When are you and other leaders going to lead by example and get the job? And then number two, you've said that the first batch, uh, we didn't, it didn't cost Kenya, I think. So do we have plans of purchasing extra vaccines in order to cater for the population? Um. Uh, let me start with your second one. Yes, of course, because the, the vaccines that are here are not enough. And I think if I am not wrong, we are expecting another batch in? Yeah, in at the end of April. End of? March. Yeah, end of March, towards April. End of March, April, we're expecting another batch. So we will continue to receive uh, uh, the vaccine until uh, all our people are effectively covered across, across the country. 
uh, with regard to whether we will lead by example. I leave, these are the people who will tell us. I told you, we have a policy. Yeah? The same person who is saying, ukiona ni kichanjwa, munasema, wakubwa wameenda kuchanjwa. Uko, uko, uko. Uyo mdomo yako ndiyo itasema tu hiyo. Eh? <laughs> Kwa hivyo, hawa wakituambia ya kwamba, this is the way, in order, they will tell us. And we will follow, like I said, ours is the policy. The policy is clear. If the professionals tell us this is the way and this is what we need to do in order